We all live in a world together. Whether we like it or not. But regardless we try to make the best of it. But in this world we forget about the dangers and the risks of our actions. We don't want to think or ask about these questions because we are all afraid of what the answer might be, it's just human nature. But what if I told you that one singular item was keeping life on Earth sustainable? What if I told you that the item held all the secrets of the universe? What if I told you that this item was a simple food, that it was in fact a pudding snack? Would you believe me? Well regardless if you do or not, this simple pudding snack is in fact what keeps everything in the universe sustainable and running smoothly. But this pudding snack has such immense powers that no mortal human would dare try to open it. Not even gods would dare think of such things. Only a fool would do something that stupid. But those who seek unlimited powers are fools. Our saviour, the artist, seeks out the pudding snack to protect it from those who are foolish enough to want unlimited power. He seeks this pudding snack for one reason, to keep Chin Chin from taking the pudding snack. Chin Chin has been searching for the pudding snack for 87 years. He will stop at nothing to obtain the pudding snack. But neither Chin Chin nor artist are human, they come from different parts of the universe to find the pudding snack, for better or for worse. But Chin Chin is far more powerful than artist so artist must be very careful if he comes face to face with Chin Chin. But our story begins with our saviour, artist, finding the location of the pudding snack. Oh, the pudding snack! Little did artists know, Chin Chin has also found a location shortly after him. So both Chin Chin and Artist race to get to the pudding snack first, not knowing that the other knows of the location of the pudding snack. With Chin Chin in possession of the pudding snack artist knows he must be careful and is not a good idea to chase after Chin Chin. But he also does not want to lose sight of Chin Chin he may never see the pudding snack again. So he follows Chin Chin out of the woods but is caught by one of Chin Chin's traps that was set up prior to artist finding the pudding snack. Leaving artist with a limp leg making it hard to keep track of Chin Chin's whereabouts. With possession of the pudding snack Chin Chin makes his way back to his secret lair, but Chin Chin does not know of the power that pudding snack holds.
That was some pretty nice wind, wouldn't you say? Well with Chin Chin's carelessness Artis sees him run from his secret lair and now knows the location of the pudding snack. With Artist making his way to Chin Chin's secret lair thanks to the help of Chin Chin escaping for his life, Artist has a chance of obtaining the pudding snack but Little did he know that Chin Chin was smart, he may have been careless but he was a genius when it came to setting traps. Artist makes his way into Chin Chin's secret lair but Chin Chin had set a remote bomb to go off if anything horrible were to happen to him. Chin Chin not knowing that Artist made his way into the lair sets off the bomb destroying everything in a one mile radius. Now if you were paying attention you would know that this pudding snack was something essential to all life and well-being on earth and that artist was in the lair with the pudding snack. So that means that all life as we know it should have stopped, right? Well little did Chin Chin know. Artist had a few tricks up his sleeve too. Because Artist and Chin Chin were from different parts of the universe and had different fields of intelligence, and Artist was very smart when it came to giving misleading or incorrect information. You see the pudding snack Chin Chin had was a fake and that the real pudding snack was in another universe far away from where both of them had been looking. So what happened to Artist then? Well he was blown up just as I said. Thank you for watching this absolutely atrocious video and hopefully Mrs. Dodson thinks it is good enough to give me a passing grade on this assignment. I would like to give a special thanks to the ones who helped me make this movie. I would like to give thanks to Picture 1 and 2 of Bomb. Picture 1 of Chin Chin. Picture 1 of Artist, Picture 1 and 2 of Earth, Picture 1 of Lair, Picture 1, 2 and 3 of Pudding Snack, Picture 1 of Race, Picture 1 of Trap Card, Picture 1 of Wind, and Picture 1 of Universe. I would also like to give special thanks to Adam Jones for playing Chin Chin in this film and filming some of the scenes. I would also like to give David E. Covington special thanks for playing Artist in this film and filming some of the scenes. And I would also like to give special thanks to Zach Harper for his greasy forehead giving me motivation to get out of bed every day. In these bloopers all the videos were cut in some parts of the video or were stopped too early. Oh. Oh. It's a building snack! Fruit snack. Fruit snack. Fruit.